What is going on guys, Bisectatron here, bringing you today's live attack video. Got a Town Hall 13 base, as you can see, queued up here, and we are trying E-Dragons, Bat Spells, all kinds of crazy stuff that I love doing at Town Hall 13. I'm a big fan of this new strategy I've been pushing. You may have seen it on this channel a little bit here and there. Uh, it's the Bat Spell at the beginning of the attack, when the uh, base has single infernos, not great coverage with the scatter shots and wizard towers. Oftentimes you can use a front end bat spell to exploit part of the base, usually take out the eagle, set up the rest of the attack. So when I was looking at this base here, um, what I saw was the top part of the base only has three wizard towers, that's it. And there's a lot of merchandise, um, as you can see here, in terms of air coverage, both sweepers, Three air defenses, sorry my head's kind of itchy, um, and what did I say, both sweepers, three air defenses, all three infernos, plus the eagle, a ton of stuff up there, but none of that can really defend the bat spell too well. So um, I was thinking, okay, how do I do this? I'm going to, on this side, put three super goblins, take out those two buildings, uh, drop my queen here, she should kind of take out this stuff. And then because of those super goblins get pushed in, get some stuff, but mainly the important thing, get that wizard tower down. Um, also, this side, I'm going to drop down ice golem, wizard, let the ice golem move up a little bit, then drop my royal champion. My fear is if I just drop the ice golem royal champion, the ice golem might like take a long route or something, and the single inferno will lock on to my royal champion, and she might not get that wizard tower taken out. So, I'm going to be a little bit more patient, um, Ice Golem, Wizard, wait, then drop the Royal Champion when the time comes, and um, hopefully that should get this Wizard Tower down. Uh, from there, I am just going to start with the Rage centered like on this Expo, so it should cover like that. Um, drop the Bats on the Wizard Tower, got seven of them and a free spell, and just kind of let the Bats do their thing. Um, I'm hoping I can get pretty much like all of this taken out almost, just this entire part of the base. We'll see, you know, I've I've overestimated how powerful bats are before, so you know, as long as they get the eagle, I should be okay. Eagle, those three air defenses, all that's going to be targeting them are the air defenses, the single infernos, none of that's good at taking out bats. Uh, this one expo is the only thing that I think will do any considerable damage, but seven bats in the rage, I think, can power through that. We'll see. Um, this will maybe inform you guys in your attacks if you're a Town Hall 13. I had a lot of trouble deciding what to do with the rest of the base, but I came to the conclusion E-Drags are the best. So, I'm going to drop one here and one here out of range of that air defense, and I'll check the CC, but I think out of range of the CC as well. That's going to get a ton of chain value just going all over the place in here, clearing stuff out. The queen and the goblins will have created my other funnel, uh, which is nice. You always want things to build into the into the next step. So I'll just drop my other like five E-Dragons, the Warden and my Loons, let them go in, got a single Rage, a Poison for the CC, then a Blimp coming behind, use the Warden's ability over the E-Dragons, also the Blimp. Um, the queen should be engaged. In the Blimp is a Dragon and some Loons. I'm going to delay it a little bit that way. I can be a little more sure it'll take down the town hall. My only concern is that the uh, the heroes, mainly the uh, royal champion and the queen, are gonna pull the e dragon, or not the e dragon, pull the dragon, and the five loons that are left over won't be enough to take out the town hall. Um, I was thinking about doing all loons, but and that's actually not a bad idea doing all loons, but um. I think the dragon is also good to have in there, um, so we'll see, I might eat my words, but um, that's the plan, and uh, I think the base is going to be crushed. If the bats go right, I think that's all I need, really. Um, I think the E-Dragons, the amount of E-Dragons I have is overkill, considering three air defenses, um, <laughs> three air defenses, both sweepers, all three Inferno Towers, the Eagle, all of that will hopefully get taken out by the Bats. So, uh, enough talking. Let's get into the reason you guys are here. I think I got everything trained up correctly. Um, got the 
That should be a party wizard. My mistake there. I uh, gotta spice things up with that party wizard. Otherwise, everything looks good. Got a few minions for cleanup. And, um... Yeah. By the way, the king. I never mentioned him. Uh, he is going to... Make sure I got the right CC one more time. Yep, yeah, looks good. Uh, the king is going to be used to kind of clean up more or less. Um, once the CC is down, because I'm not trying, I'm not loading out any ground stuff in the CC. If there's a lava hound, for example. So uh, once the CC is down from the E dragons, I'll drop the king like over in this area. Let him do his thing. Okay, here we go. Uh, a lot of thoughts, a lot of talking. Just gotta remember the first few steps, which are uh, super goblins, or sneaky goblins, uh, pick your word, queen, and then ice golem, wizard, weight, royal champion, do the bats, then we're good to go for the e-dragons. Perfect. Yes, my heroes are not max, by the way. Still trying to get those upgraded. Okay. One, two, three. Queen. Ice party wizard. Well, it looks like I didn't get either Wizard Tower. This is going to be a little bit tougher than I thought. Um, rage, Freeze, Bats. Yeah, this is not going great. Um, might as well just start this and we'll figure out what happened later. Um, that, that. These E Dragons are going to get good value, like I said. I'm afraid to see if the Eagle is still up, as I suspected was the case. Two, three, four, five. Loons. Poison spell. Rage. Blimp. Uh, start the king. There we go. Uh, we shall see, guys. Um, this one is going to be difficult because the eagle and the single inferno was still up. Otherwise, the space would have been crushed. Plus, there's like four troll Teslas. What else is new? Um... Wow, yeah. If I even had one less E-Dragon, I could have easily tripled this, I think, if the bats did their job. Um, a weird attack, for sure. You have to let me know what you think in the comments for this base, how we could have uh, gotten it done here. Hit the King's ability, and um, yeah, the Troll Teslas. Not, not as common at Town Hall 13, but, um, you know, sometimes you see them. On those fresh hits. Let's see. I um, guess we can grab some more percentage while that eagle is distracted. Uh, get that builder hut. Get that building. Just put that there. Yeah, so we'll take a look at the replay, see what exactly happened. It's a little awkward for the bats because they were coming out of the rage. Um, maybe there was a better deployment. Maybe, maybe I should have done a bat wave. Um, in an ice golem to tank the wizard tower. That's something I actually thought about um, doing, but yeah, I, I think let me let me take a look and I, I might be able to uh, to see the the cleanup uh, perhaps here. So the queen did not do her job. I maybe I should have dropped her higher up. Let's t keep an eye on the queen first because that and also the royal champion got locked onto really fast. So. Let's see what happened to both of these. The queen we'll keep an eye on, then we'll also watch the right side. Um, Ice Golem gets locked onto, but it's not gonna freeze the Inferno. Okay, that's the problem. The queen just went to that builder hut, then went down. 
I guess just should have dropped her higher by that army camp up there. So, I mean, two mistakes that were, and then the, I think the ability that didn't do anything because the scatter killed her while she was in her cloak. So, lots of issues there. The, um, the wizard tower, yeah, you can see there's a lot of bats in there with the rage and, um, you know, had the wizard, had that wizard tower been down, all those bats are coming back for the eagle. Same with on the left side here. Um, I think some of them are going to get taken out by the other wizard tower. So... I think the deployment could have worked if the uh, if the wizard towers were not up. So the the, the, the bat deployment was not the problem. E dragons, like I said, got some good value there. Unfortunately, that warden, I I uh, underestimated how strong the warden is. He's actually pretty serious. Um, and I don't know why that e dragon didn't didn't chain. Uh, I don't know if it has to still be alive for its chain to continue. But the warden stayed up surprisingly long. Um, that being said, the main push with these E-Dragons did a lot of good stuff. Um, the blimp kind of meanders a bit here because it can't reach the town hall. But by and large, I think this part was fine. The king goes down, possibly a tad late. I didn't want to lure out anything from the CC. Um, so I wanted to be careful there. And I mean, that expo is still up. Had this, uh, you know, still have a minute left as well. So ha had the... Uh, the bats worked. I think this could have worked out. Troll Teslas might have gotten me at the very end because those E-Dragons are so slow, plus the king. But it definitely could have had a better chance if if that those first uh, issues were worked out. I guess for the Royal Champion, you just um, have to use a freeze spell there to, to freeze up the uh, single Inferno, which... Let me check. I was thinking about using an Ice Golem to tank the first Wizard Tower. Decided against it. Um, there is a Tesla up there, but if I drop it in range of, this, of the Wizard Tower, I'm pretty sure it would have tanked at least for long enough for this to work. So, um, could have saved the free spell and then just used it over here. There it is, guys. Um, E-Dragons are fun. They did a lot of cool stuff on the back end of the base, but you got to get the bats right, and um, that did not happen here. So, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoy my content, consider supporting the channel by entering my creator boost code, ISECT, in the settings tab of your game, and keep in mind it occasionally resets and must be re-entered. Click or tap for another video and be sure to subscribe. See you all next time, Bisectatron out.